In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to write better emails from subject lines to the email themselves to segueing into a marketing message to sell your own products and services or promote affiliate offers. Adam Payne here and I share simple tips and strategies that work to help you grow your online business without the hype. Now, if you stick around to the end of this video, not only are you going to learn how to use ChatGPT to write effective emails, but I'll share with you another resource that very few people know about. It's completely free, and that is also going to help you create really amazing emails that stand out. Now, when we go to our email inbox, it looks something like this. We get business emails, we get updates, we get generic sounding emails that don't sound much fun. They're telling us just to buy this, buy that, check this out, check that out, but they don't really make much of an effort to entice us. And one of the best ways that you can get results like this, where I got almost five grand with a tiny list of 325 people, is to tell stories. But not all of us are effective storytellers. Sometimes we have writer's block. So this is where ChatGPT can come in really handy. So I'm over here at ChatGPT. Now, in order for this to work as best as possible, we need to provide ChatGPT with some prompts. So let's head on over to this Google Drive doc and this is the first prompt where we give a little bit of background as to what we do. So in this case I run a small business that helps beginners grow their online ventures. Recently I released a digital course to help people get better results with their email marketing and we're just asking ChatGPT if they understand. So we'll copy this and we'll plonk that in there and press this once and we'll see what the response is. Okay, so it's just kind of repeating what we've said and telling us that it understands. So I'm going to give them this prompt as well. I have an email list of people who bought this course. Do you understand? So again, we'll just plonk, plonk that in there and hit enter. And it will say it understands. Good. So now we're going to tell it what it, we want it to do. So I want you to pretend that you are an expert storyteller and to create a simple story based on something true and then segue into a marketing message that can be used as an email. Let's just see if it understands this. Hopefully it will. You would like me to create a story that is based on truth and then transition into a marketing message that can be used in an email to your list of course buyers. Okay, so, so far, so good. If the goal of the email that we want ChatGPT to create is to sell something, whether it's our own or an affiliate offer, we need to consider what that item is. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm going to be promoting an imaginary WordPress plugin that helps you improve the performance of your website's speed. So with speed being the key theme, I'm gonna put something like this. The goal of the email is to promote a WordPress plugin that makes your website faster. So the theme of the story will be speed, do you understand? Yes, I understand, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now let's say, please write three subject lines for the email story. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's still fairly kind of generic and business sounding. The first one's not too bad. Okay, so let's, um, we'll, we'll use that, we'll keep that for now, and then we'll start with the story, and then maybe we can come up with a better subject line. Please write the email story and transition into a marketing message to promote the plugin. Pretend the plugin is called Speedy Plugin. There you go, very generic name. Okay, Sp can't spell, right? Plugin. Okay, let's go. Let's see what it says. Let's wait for a second and hopefully it's going to come up with a story. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Okay, so we've got the first subject line. It's a bit slow right now, so I'm gonna pause the video and just let it type itself out and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so it did write a pretty cool email, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. It still sounds a bit business-like. It talks about remembering the days when websites took forever to load. You sit there tapping your foot, waiting for the page to finally show up. And then it introduces the plugin. Then it even made up some fake testimonials, which I didn't want it to do and I'd never advocate. However, 
it's not not bad and if you really are struggling for you know if you've got writer's block or english is not your first language this could be something that you could copy and paste into your autoresponder and send it out but i'm not really looking for this i want it to tell a story so i've kind of said this can you rewrite this do not mention any features of the plugin do not mention <clears throat> any customers just tell a fun story related to the topic of speed and let's see if it can do that because I want to segue into this kind of marketing message at the end. The magic of speed. Sounds like a drug, doesn't it? So this is better. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. It's telling a story. Well, it's telling a very short story. It's about three sentences or three lines. But just by giving it a few prompts, it is actually able to create an email. And it does talk about this. So, look, the magic of speed. Do you remember when you were a kid and you'd run as fast as you could for just the pure joy of it? The wind in your hair, the ground rushing by beneath your feet. It was pure magic. So we've got this magic magic connection. Well, that same magic is available to you right now in the form of lightning fast websites. Now, of course, the people that are reading this email, they're going to be people that are interested in improving their speed of their website because you're always going to send emails out to people on your list that are interested in similar topics. So to me, this isn't a bad, this isn't bad. This is pretty Pretty decent. So then I can take this, I've got my subject line, I've got my email, and then I might put something like, let's have a look. I might, actually let me just copy this, and I'm going to take this over to the Google Doc, and I'll show you what I personally do. So let's just bring this down, okay, and make this a bit bigger so we can, you know, actually re read it easier. I like the first, I like this part here because it's the story and then it's a quick transition into a marketing message. Okay. What I'd probably do is just get rid of that. Um, so go ahead and give it a try here. And then this is this would be the bit that I would hyperlink. And then we just, and I might just change this and say, cheers, Adam, magic. Pain, which would be my name, and I always like to put these things in inverted commas, something that's related to the subject line. And this would be a better email than somebody just saying, hey, I found this great plugin that makes your websites really fast, it's the best thing in the history of life, click here to buy it now, blah, blah, blah. Those emails are boring and they don't stand out. <clears throat> but this subject line will immediately stand out compared to everybody else's, and we've got this really cool email that it's written. Now, I mentioned at the start of this video that I would share with you another resource for storytelling. So let's go and do that. This is a resource that I love. It's called Listverse. You just come to the website. I'll leave the link below. You come to this little search icon here and you type in a keyword related to your theme. So I put in speed. It gives you a bunch of different articles which are all lists on different things related to that topic. So I chose this one, 15 fastest things in the universe. And if I come right the way down to the bottom, I found this really cool bit at the bottom called Super Luminosity, and it talks about this thing called Tachons, and apparently they're the fastest kind of particle, they can travel faster than the speed of light, and I copied this, this little paragraph here, and I came over to Quillbot, and I chose the simple mode, which is available in the pro plan, but if you don't have the pro plan and only the free plan, you could choose fluency, and I just rewrite it automatically. So I copied it in here, pressed rephrase, and it rewrote it to this. We'll then take this bit of content, we'll come over to our Google Doc, and we'll open up, we'll just plonk it in there. I'll make this, you know, bigger. And then this would basically be my email. And my headline could just be, or my subject line could just be something like Tachons. Now, no one probably knows what Tachon is, so it's going to be weird. All the other emails are going to say, click here, open up, discount, you know, going soon, and there's an email from me that says Tachons, which people are going to click on purely out of, you know, being curious. What's he talking about? Then there's a short article which talks about what it is, and it focuses on speed. And then I might say something. Now, I've got something that's also really fast. It's not quite as fast as the Tachon, but it's pretty close. And it's going to help your website load up super fast, which is really, really important when it comes to ranking. Click here and learn all about it, that kind of deal then I'd link out to maybe a review video or a review site, and within that would be my affiliate link. And I know from doing this time and time and time again, it works. People look forward to your emails, people like stories, we like stories when we were kids, 
adults like stories and you've not got to you know tell stories from scratch you can use the resources such as chat gpt or listverse to create the stories for you and then you know segue into a, or transition into a marketing message to promote a product to sell a product etc i hope you've got some value from this video let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you soon